Hey there, YouTube, it's me, Superkook, coming at you guys today with a Clear Skies OU match against Sharpie84. This is actually a PO match as opposed to a DS match, um, like I said before. Right now my flash card is broken. I do have one extra match, you know, backed up, but I'm going to save that for a little bit. And, um, I figured I might as well do a PO match or two in my downtime. Um, yeah. Pretty much, um... One small thing, I used a Keldeo resolution form in this match, so um, it doesn't actually have a sprite in um, Pokemon Online, this um, replayer, but um, don't worry, I can edit one in. It's not going to look fantastic, but it looks better than having nothing there. I'm assuming that's the same with also the Therian forms and um, Black and White Curum. It's kind of, yeah. Actually, um, P.O., there was an update, so now it's compatible with all the changes for black and white, too. So, um, let's begin the match. I'm going to lead off my fortress, and they're going to lead off with their Jolteon. The first thing I'm going to do is start setting up spikes while he goes out to paralyze me. Not that big of a deal, especially that's going to make my, um, Gyro Ball a little bit stronger. He predicts me to switch here and goes for a signal beam, but nope, I set up a second layer of spikes. Um, here now I think he's going to switch out knowing he can't do anything. So um, I'm just going to set up my third and final layer of spikes, so that's pretty good. Three turns, three layers of spikes. But um, 95%, not completely full health. Sorry, I'm about to move the cursor. Um, not full health, didn't get sturdy. Flamethrower is easily going to take me out. So I'm going to switch into the Axis Defense. He's going to switch back into his Jolteon and take 25 damage, 25% from the spikes. While I set up my layer of rocks. Which is good. So now I have all my entry hazards set up. This is mostly a phasing team because I, um, it does phasing. That's what it does. Now I'm going to send in my Salamence. Um, I taunted him so that way he wouldn't be able to, um, Thunder Wave my Salamence. So that way he won't get paralyzed. So that way he can wreck shop. He goes for a Thunderbolt and paralyzes me anyways. I'm just like, ah, oh, that defeats the purpose of me taunting him. Anyways, I'm going to roost up, see if I can get a little bit more health. This paralyzation is definitely going to come back and bite me in the butt. I know it. Anyways, um, Thunderbolt, I'm just going to go for an Earthquake, and I'm going to survive at least one Thunderbolt, and I do, as long as I don't get paralyzed. So now, you know, he's going to send in Weavile. I don't really want to get hit by anything from this Weavile, and he takes a lot of damage from his entry captures. But I don't want to take anything from him. I'm going to switch into my Keldeo Resolution form while he goes for an Ice Punch. I'm like, okay, cool beans, let's just set up a Calm Mind. But, out of left field, he goes for an Aerial Ace. Yes, that 60 base power doesn't miss Aerial Ace for some reason. I didn't switch out, I don't know, but Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace. Wow, my Keldu died. I'm going to switch into my Skarm. He's going to go for an Ice Punch while I just roll him out, knowing when he comes back in, he's going to lose that Weavile and get some, some these entry hazard damage on something else. So it's going to bring him down just about 30% while he goes for a Meteor Mash, and I'm going to roll one him out again. And that's what phasing is, it's fun keep rolling stuff out. He's going to switch into Salamence. It's going to take 25% from the Stealth Rocks, but nothing from the Spikes because he's immune to Spikes because he's a flying type. He is going to flamethrower me, so now I can't phase anymore because my only two things that have phasing moves on this team were Keldeer Resolution in the form of Roar and Salam and, uh, um, Skarmory with Whirlwind. I'm going to go for a Psychic here. You know, it's not going to do too much. He's going to go for an Outrage, and I'm survived with 2%. Here, I'm going to go for the recover, but I get paralyzed. I'm just like, ugh. So, yeah. Um, but he's confused. Has 1% of HP left. I'm just going to switch into my Chandelure, hopefully. I don't know. He gets confused and kills himself in confusion, so that's really good for me. Shadow Ball doesn't do anything. A Calm Mind here probably could have been really beneficial, but, um, oh well. He's going to switch into Metagross while I'm able to get off a Fire Blast. And that's going to finish him off. Good story. He's going to switch into Somper, trying to get some, you know, water attacks or some ground attacks on me. But nope, I go for that energy ball. I like this type coverage on this thing. Finish him off. Now he goes into his Gengar. He's going to outspeed me, and his Shadow Ball is obviously going to kill me one hit, because Chandelure's defense is not the greatest. And I'm going to switch into my Salamence. And because I'm paralyzed, he's going to outspeed me, and I'm not going to be able to roost or anything. He's going to get T-Bolt off and finish me off. So good game, Sharpie84. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel. If you do and you find this battle, comment below. That's about it. Um. Yeah. So um, good game. 
short game, but, you know, good one. 23 turns. Pretty good. Um, Tumblr and Facebook are going to be in the description, so like and follow those. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys later.